Well, grace and peace, everyone. Uh, welcome back to our Believing God's Word broadcast. Pastor Riley here, and I just enjoy our Believing God's Word uh, community, broadcast community, where we are making God in the Word the final authority. Amen. And <clears throat> we just want to just keep uh, saying that over ourselves, that I believe God's Word. I believe God's Word. God's Word works. And his word is working mightily in me and through me. In other words, we're being a blessing in every place we go, right? And his word is the incorruptible, indestructible, infallible, the irresistible, the ever-living seed word of God. And you know, but God is, what do we do with the word? He says, I put my word in your mouth. I got you covered with the workings of my hands, with a vision of my hands, so that I might plant the heavens. Man, we got to talk from above in this earth and speak healing, deliverance, safety, soundness. And he said, I might, and then lay the foundation, because you are my people, Zion. And we're going to, um, we, we're just going to keep doing this, talking like God. Saying it, speaking, agreeing with them, calling things. Remember I told you, we are to be system change agents, the elite God squad. <laughs> we, I call us the elite. I have it written down. He told me, supernatural. You're going to have supernatural encounters, spiritual, divine connections with the right people. And you're going to have visitations. This, we're in a great hour because the three R's are working in our lives. And what are those three R's? I can't hear you. Okay, right? I got it. I got it. Okay. Restoration. Good. What else? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. Restitution. What else? Yeah. Yeah. Absolute a recompensing. And that's what we've been talking about. And th this is our maybe our last session on this. But please, I want to encourage you to go back to these, these tapes. Go back to the sessions and, and, and write them down. And let the Lord speak to you. I'm just giving you. Uh, some biblical things that he shared with me that he's doing right now, not he want to do. You got to let him do it. Let this mind. Let him do it through you. Let him do it in you, okay? Be open because we are in a, we are in a very great time to see the hand of the Lord. Restoration, restitution, and recompense. Now, I want to go to it. We was on restoration and we said restoration just to just to go back, it means to heal, to cure, to recover from. Um, our fortune restored after severest afflictions. Many afflictions are the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of a, out of them all. He don't. If you look in the scripture, He don't just deliver us out of affliction. What He do? He restores us what afflictions took from us while we were in it. So I want you to start thinking to bring back or recover. From lapse, it means also, uh, yeah, to bring back, to replace, um, to give double. All kind of great things are in this word on restoration. And then we talked about um, restitution. And what I like about restitution is that it's the act of recovering from a formal state. You know, that's why I say, in other words. We're recovering from a state that we were in that we didn't have. We wasn't operating in authority. We just, but we was just seeing being plundered, being like we said in Isaiah 42. He says, "But speak, restore." I need somebody to say, to speak restoration over their lives, over their families, over their community, and so forth. So, but when you're being restitution, that means God elevates you to the place you fell from. He not just restores things to you. He restores positions and status and, and bring you back to the formal state before the fall. Somebody say amen. And we can take that all the way back to Adam, but y'all know the story, I believe. So now we said that uh, there is a refreshing, that the refreshing uh, we talked about in the times of re of restitution of all things, times of refreshing of all things. Now, one word for, for times is the appointed time. 
opportune time. So you're right in opportune timing. That's why keep your fellowship with the Lord. Keep your fellowship with your Heavenly Father. Keep that fellowship and communion with the Holy Spirit because you are in opportune time. Don't let what's going on around you uh, 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 camouflage your opportunity. Just keep looking on to Jesus, the author and finish. He will not fail us. He will not fail you. And then you have the word hurry, horios, which is the right time where God gets you to engage. He engages you in the right time. And that's right now. And we have all of these two words together covers these four words of, that deals with time that you need to know. You're in the appointed time, the opportune time. Um, Kairos, you're in the horaos, the right time where God is engaging you. He's opening up doors. I wish that time he says, I open doors and I shut. He said, I'm on, God is closing doors that no man can open to try to, uh, to come against your future. And then God is opening doors. No person, no devil can ever shut. So you're in the right time. Say, I'm in the right time. And then you have the word plureos, which is the fullness of time. It's the season of increase. It's the season of coming out. It's the season of spreading out. Ah, you know, it's the season of launching out. And this is where we are right now. The season of increase and harvest. And then you have another word which is idios, kairos, which God says, I'm giving you, you're at the due season. There's some things that are due to you, and I'm giving them to you as a part of you being heirs of God and joint heir with Christ Jesus. Other words, he invited us into his ownership over this earth. Can you say amen? Glory to God. That's why he said, be not weary in well-doing. If you um, and if you faint not, you shall reap if you faint not. You and that word faint means don't lose heart, don't lose courage, don't change your expectancy. Trust them. And we can get on that a little bit when we do this new series on enduring, um, keys to enduring to the end and fulfilling God's call in your life. And and I'm gonna tell you. Um, hope, expectation. We're going to talk about hope and how that plays. But let me tell you, you're going to find out every time you open your mouth and speak the word. This is the season of speaking the word of God. Speaking that word for only speaking that which lines up with his word. That's why we got to know his word. The wisdom of God, knowing what to say and when to be silent. The Bible tells us that we, we are to know how to bridle our mouth. The Bible says, be slow to speak, quick to hear, slow to get angry, for the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. So this is so important. This is a season of instruction. And I hope this time spending with you has blessed you or given you some, some insight on where, where you need to start from, we was on recompense, and I think we stopped off at uh, Proverbs eleven thirty one. He says that the righteous will be recompensed in the earth much more the wicked and the sinner. So we're getting a reward. God's making you prosper. There's an anointing that's on you as I'm talking. That's 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 beginning to activate. There's things that's resonating inside of you. That God's waking up and quicken, awake the righteousness, your divine position, where you can take your place in the kingdom and be part of the greatest reformation. We're going to talk about reformation that comes with revival, and I'm going to show you how these things work. Uh, but, but we're at a point where, and God's not, I'm, I, I hate to say this, and I'm in fivefold ministry, but we, God's not just using us up in the top. It's your time now. There's miracles that's going to be flowing through you, supernatural things that God's going to flow through you in this season. I want to show you something he showed me in Isaiah 35, and it really caught my attention. Um, and I waited to do this scripture last, but it really got my attention. 
And and um, this is just wonderful, wonderful. Glory to God. And I'm speaking over you restoration. Restore. Isaiah 42 says somebody has to say restore. Somebody has to agree with God. You and I was made to agree with him. Let's call things be not. Let's stop saying I don't have enough. Things are so rough. Things are so hard. Death and life. Proverbs 18.21 is the power of a, in the power of the tongue. A man's belly shall be satisfied by the fruit, the words of his mouth. It's so important. And we're not lying because we're speaking God's truth. We are subpoenaing truth to appear in our lives right where we are. And truth is designed to do what? Make us free. You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Free and truth is the word of God. So I'm going to be praying and continue praying over you to 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 have a revelation. Like and pray for me. We need we need to walk in this revelation that we need to agree with God in this hour. And this very point, man don't live by bread alone, but by what every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So when we look in Isaiah, and you know, it's just such a beautiful scripture, beautiful book. Uh, the eagle-eyed prophet, they call him. <laughs> well, I tell you. Aren't you glad you have an eagle eye and not a buzzard eye? See, a buzzard eye is looking for something to die. An eagle eye is how I get you while you're running. <laughs> An eagle-eyed prophet. Now, let me, watch this. Um, 35.4. It says, the third verse, strengthen the weak hands. Confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong. Fear not. Behold your God will come with vengeance. That word vengeance is God. Is It doesn't mean anger like we think. That word justice. Justice. Fair. Is another scripture say he is fair and just. You see. Now watch this. He says, your God will come with vengeance. He's going to acquit you. Hallelujah. He's going to justify you. Even God with a recompense, he will come and save you. Look for the salvation of the Lord. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then the lame, see, restoring you in health, whatever's going on in your body, whatever disease, whatever have cleaved to you, he said, healing time is here. Hallelujah. And leap as, and he says, and you will leap as a heart, a deer, and the tongue of the dumb will sing. God will give you a song when you couldn't even talk. Come on, somebody. He says, for in the wilderness shall waters break out and streams in the desert. All he's saying, prepare yourself for a miracle. Prepare yourself for miracles and the supernatural. And I'm leaving you with that tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Read this scripture. It's your time. Say it's my time. I'm restored. I'm rest. I'm I have restitution and I am being recompensed. I'm being paid. Hallelujah. And everything the enemy th- tried to tell me I lost really is not lost at all. There's no loss in the kingdom of God because Jesus is the restorer of the breach. Hallelujah. Jesus is my healer. Jesus is my deliverer. Jesus has recompensed me and given me what he earned when he ransomed me with his own blood. This is restitution of relationship, health, finances, status, Everything the enemy has stolen, you watch God give you double 61 Isaiah, the fifth and sixth verse. He will give you double for your shame. And then Job said, I'll restore you like the years. I gave you strength you never known before. That's what Joel said. I'll restore you back your years, strength and things you should have had in those years that was robbed from you. The caterpillar, the palmer worm, the, the canker worm, and the locust has eaten. That great army that came and just 
just just ruined your life and took everything. He said, but now you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and my people shall never be put to shame. Can you give them some praise? Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for the anointing on their lives right now. Make it show your so shall your word be that go forth out of your mouth. It will not return to you, boy. Isaiah 55 said, it will accomplish that which you please and prosper in the purpose in which you send it. And I decree that the word of God is working mightily in them and through them. In Jesus' name, amen. So you go, inquire the Lord, encourage yourself, and watch him give you the okay, the green light. Go and recover all. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I preach myself happy. Well, we're going to have to close this session up. And we'll, we'll see you in our next session. On a new session, we're going to encourage you. Lord told me to encourage this great army. You know, our biggest army is out there on this, on this, on this cyber world. The biggest army. The most talented, anointed people is those folks that are on these on these lines here and hearing. And we're waking up. We're waking up to righteousness. Amen. So if you enjoyed this broadcast, we're going to continue to ask you um, to subscribe, like, share. And um, we can, we're going to keep saying we are really looking for people to help us get the word out. Get the word out. Get the word out. The Bible says the Lord gave the word. And Operation Get the Word Out. And great was the company of them that published it. If you notice, we just stay in the word of God. Because that's what we live by. And that, that word is powerful, quick, sharper than any to its sword. It can conquer anything that the enemy tries to throw at us. The word of God is the sword of the spirit. Hallelujah. In our mouth. So. We just want to ask you to continue to aid us in getting the word out. Be part of this great company. We appreciate you so much. And we just, you know, if you have some comments on what we've been teaching for the past um, couple, past month, four to six sessions, um, we will love to hear from you. And we just want to know that we're, you know, we're being a blessing to you. And... Remember, we love you. We thank you. We appreciate our Believe in God's Word broadcast community. And we want to encourage you to keep believing God's Word and let God and His Word in your personal life be the final authority. See you in our next broadcast.